Bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are blending up a beautiful batch of Cream Silk Cleansing Balm. The inspiration for this cleansing balm partially came from a commercially available cleansing balm that I tried. There are almost no ingredients in common between the two, but I really liked how the commercially available cleansing balm went from a soft balm to a liquid oil really, really quickly. I really like that melt speed and the skin feel. So I set out to create that with the sorts of ingredients that uh, we can get as home crafters. I ended up settling on a combination of a pseudo wax, olive wax. So the inky for olive wax is hydrogenated olive oil. It's not a true wax, something like beeswax or candelilla wax and settle alcohol. I find that pseudo waxes give our products a really neat, rich, creamy feel with gorgeous slip and none of the waxiness that we traditionally associate with waxes. Settle alcohol is a gorgeous thickener that offers a really lovely silky slip to our products and melts from a solid to a lovely slippy thin oil very quickly. So the combination of these two thickeners gives us a product that melts down to a rich feeling oil fairly quickly after it contacts the skin. I've kept the liquid emollients and carrier oils in this formulation really lightweight. So we have some C12 to 15 alkyl benzoate, we've got some sunflower seed oil, and we have some fractionated coconut oil. You can, of course, experiment with different liquid emollients to work with what you already have on hand, but please prioritize keeping things as lightweight and fast absorbing as possible because that's just, it's really a big part of how lovely this cleansing balm feels. I've incorporated two different solubilizers to give this cleansing balm its gorgeous rinse off. I started with just PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil, but found I wasn't getting quite the rinse off that I was looking for. So I incorporated a touch of polysorbate 80 as well to give it the, the extra punch I was looking for. So we got a gorgeous, clean, easy rinse off. We will be bringing this cleansing balm to a nice thick trace before transferring it to our container in order to ensure a gorgeous creamy consistency all the way through. I found that if you let it set on its own without lots of stirring, you kind of got a harder shell on the top and I didn't really like that. So we are tracing it. If you really don't want to trace it, you don't have to, but I do find it dramatically improves the consistency of the end product. As always, if you are looking for more information on this formulation, please make sure you are checking out the description box. Click through to the blog post on humblebeeandme.com. There's a ton more information there, information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy all the ingredients, and a whole lot more. Well, come on, let's get started. We'll begin by combining all of our ingredients in a small heat resistant glass measuring cup. You'll need 13.5 grams C12 to 15 alkyl benzoate, 5 grams sunflower seed oil, 7.5 grams fractionated coconut oil, 7.5 grams PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil, 2.5 grams polysorbate 80, 7.5 grams olive wax, and 6.5 grams settle alcohol. To melt everything through, I'm going to use a water bath. So this is a small saucepan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through. Once everything is melted through, you can remove your pan from the heat and then you can remove your measuring cup from the water bath. So to cool this cleansing balm, we are going to use an ice bath. So off to the side here, I have my ice bath. So this is a bowl that I've frozen maybe an inch and a half of water in the bottom of, and then I've just added another inch or so of water on top of it. So you just have a sort of a floor of ice with some water on top of it. So to bring this to trace, I'm going to pop this in here and start stirring continuously. Make sure that you are focusing on the bottom of the measuring cup. That's where kind of the product can cool the fastest. And I really do recommend making sure you're using glass for this and thicker glass is nicer. It uh, slows down the cooling speed so that you're not uh, really, really in a big rush. When I was developing this formulation, I tried this step in a metal bowl and that very much felt like DIYing on hard mode. So yeah, I, I like glass for just kind of keeping things manageable. Now, after you've been stirring for a minute or so, you should start to notice the mixture getting a bit hazy as it cools and starts to thicken on us. Now, there are several factors that will influence the speed at which your cleansing balm cools off. Larger batches will cool more slowly than smaller batches. Uh, thicker glassware will cool more slowly than thinner glassware for the, the measuring cup you're working in. And as discussed previously, metal will uh, cool a whole heck of a lot quicker. 
So at this point in time, I would call this quite a thin trace, and I want quite a thick trace. So I am going to keep going, but at this point in time, I do like to sort of stop having it in the ice bath 100% of the time and kind of bounce back and forth to just sort of gently ease it to that final point that we're looking for. Because you can see that this has thickened up a lot since I took it out of the ice bath just you know, less than a minute ago. So once we get to about this phase where it's still liquid but is definitely kind of easing over towards the soft solid side so it, it'll kind of hold its shape a bit, we are ready to package it up. For packaging, I'm going to use this 50 milliliter shallow black plastic jar from Yellow Bee. So I'm gonna give this a good stirring around, make sure that we don't have any extra hard bits sitting on the bottom, and then in we go. And then we will leave that to set up. So I thought we would do a bit of a demo to see how well it works. So on my hand here, I've applied a bit of a cream eyeshadow and some mascara. And this is a batch of the balm that has fully set up. You can see it's got this really, really lovely creamy consistency. Up close, it's just really gorgeous, really like liquefies quite quickly. Great slip, just feels amazing. And we'll just kind of massage some of that into that makeup and it starts to break down really quite quickly. Mascara is maybe being a bit stubborn, but it's not really usually how you apply mascara in a thick swatch on the back of your hand. And then with a damp microfiber cloth, just comes off beautifully. I know people also like to see the cleansing balm uh, self emulsify with some water so we can get a bit of water in my palm here and work that around and you can see that it self emulsifies really nicely to get a nice creamy white uh, blend there that then uh, wipes off really nicely with a damp microfiber cloth. And there we go. So we just made a gorgeous cream silk cleansing balm. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to read the full partner blog post, which is linked in the description box below. There you'll find a lot more information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.